You may think that I know too much, but Ooh, now it's never too much. My beautiful much. tails. Because when push comes to shove, girl, just trust I won't get sick of us. You mess up, think first. So I gained weight and I've decided to press restart on my entire fitness journey. I've been struggling to find balance and control of my diet, life, and everything else that I have going on. And it's been tough having to relearn healthy eating habits, especially now that life is moving somewhat back to normalcy. The most frustrating part about weight loss is that we all know exactly what it takes to make and see those changes that we want. But that doesn't mean that it's easy. Look at this brekkie. Looks so good. To be honest, I have not been eating at home as much and I'm really trying to challenge myself from here on out to eat at home more. I'm also going to be pulling from Lily Sabri's Lean app. There's several recipes on here and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the recipes and yeah, it's gonna be really fun, so. I'm gonna start making dinner right now. I am going to be making the homemade pesto pasta on the Lean app. The only difference is that I'm gonna add some chicken to it. We all know that weight loss takes discipline and mental toughness. However, I'm not trying to restrict myself in an unhealthy way. In the past, I've gone on extreme cuts to achieve my dream aesthetic, and that resulted in a very unhealthy relationship with food. So currently, I'm not on a fast weight loss journey. I'm on a sustainable weight loss journey. A journey that I can confidently pursue. One that doesn't have me checking the scale or mirror every day. One that doesn't have me pinching at my waist, thighs, and arms. One that has me learning to love myself. Learning to find the beauty in my body. One that is clear of all negative talk or thoughts. <laughs> One that has me waking up feeling strong and confident in myself every single day. I'm impressed, Mila. This is the pesto pasta that I made with broccolini. Who are we eating broccolini? I noticed that you can't do A big part of me wanted to get some heavy whipping cream. Maybe that like creamy pesto mm -hmm. pasta. You try. I didn't want it to be too fatty. That shit was so good. I didn't even take an Instagram picture. We are making some dessert. Slender mug cake from Protein World. They sent this over for me to review with you guys. So I'm so excited to try this. It's high protein, low sugar. And I got the red velvet white chocolate filet. Can't really see it because it's red. This is good. It literally does taste like red velvet. Is Ooh. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. She's a mama. This is my breakfast. On the lean with Lily Apps, she does have like avocado toast on there. So I thought, why not? Y'all know I love avocado toast. I'm always eating avocado toast. Today, never gonna stop, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, but really, I just filmed a video. It was me getting really candid about my weight gain. So I'm gonna link it right here. Go check it out. It'll be up before this video, so be nice. Cause I'm getting very vulnerable in that video. I ate that so fast, I'm upset. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So tonight, I am making lobster tails. Good morning. I have breakfast here. These are my Linda Sun inspired pancakes. I actually used vegan pancake mix instead of making it on my own. This was sent to me by Protein World. It was so easy to make. All I needed was almond milk. Very, very simple. Guys, this pancake mix smells so good. And I honestly can't wait to dig in. I have to get a picture first for the grams. Oh my god, this is not an ASMR. Right? <laughs> I didn't know these Sorry, this is really good. 10 out of 10, this pancake mix is fire. For it to be vegan, I thought it was gonna be like bland, no flavor, but it smells so sweet in the packaging. And it's even sweeter. Like it has just a really good flavor. This way. Spicy ketchup, always good. Just in case they forget to give it to you. That Wonder Burger for those late nights. If you know, no man. So walk with the meal. Gonna be making the strawberry velvet smoothie bowl. It looks so good. Um, all you need is frozen strawberries, frozen bananas, coconut milk. Anyway, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna we're gonna finesse it like we always do, and let's hope it comes out good. This is how my smoothie bowl came out. It's not as thick as the one that's on the picture, but it's good, honey. Really good. All I used was frozen strawberries, frozen pineapples, and frozen bananas. I think the bananas made it really crazy too. So I cut out the protein powder and the almond milk because I think that would just make it so bad. And I used coconut water instead of coconut milk. At the end of the day, we have to remember the importance of self-love. Loving yourself enough to check in with your mental health daily, fueling your body with the nutrients it needs, and giving yourself the credit you deserve. Remember, the scale means nothing, numbers mean nothing, aesthetics mean nothing. 
So drink the wine, eat the cookie, just don't forget the asparagus on the side. Remember, your greatest responsibility is to love yourself and to know you are enough. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love connecting with you all and let me know if anything resonated with you in the comment section below. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>